everyone and welcome back to America's favorite RV shopping show, Mount Comfort RV Online, brought to you by our friends at Outdoor Adventures RV Resorts. I'm your favorite RV show host, Kurt Hunt, and today we're going to take a quick look at some of the most popular recreational vehicles that we stock here at Mount Comfort RV. And they're all right here in our new ginormous showroom. My field reporter today is Susan Dillman Stills. She'll take us through a Salem Cruise Light travel trailer, a Coachman Chaparral fifth wheel, a work and play toy hauler, a Class C Freelander, and finally, a Class A Pursuit from Coachman. Let's go down to the showroom. Take it away, Susan. Yes, you probably have heard that there has been a little uptick in demand in the RV industry. Well, actually, there's been a lot of demand in the RV industry, but that does not mean that we are out of units, not by a long shot. Take a look at my beautiful air-conditioned showroom full of beautiful new trailers, fifth wheels, and motorhomes. I'm Susan Stills, come on down. Let's talk a little bit about more of these. Take a closer look. If you're like a lot of folks, you're looking for that lighter weight travel trailer that has bunks in it. And let me tell you, you're not alone. Let's take a look at my Salem Cruise Light 261 BH XL. It's a great value and there's a lot of features in it. First thing you're going to notice is you've got a great awning here with a beautiful LED light strip. It's going to give you just enough light out here to continue to party, rain or shine. I love Salem's um, sort of silver gray exterior aluminum finish. This is really durable, easy to maintain. It's not going to show the, dirt, the uh, road grime that you're going to pick up going down the road. And it's super easy. If you do have an uh-oh or a little bit of a boo-boo, you can just replace one of these panels without having to do the entire side or, or invest in fiberglass repair. Well, there's some other great things that I want to show you. First of all, we are on a dual axle right here. Whoops. We're going to walk around this way. I'm going to show you the Salem Cruise Lights Power Tongue Jack. You know, for the longest time, we didn't have this on a lot of our more affordable trailers. The Power Tongue Jack is great. It's going to eliminate all of that cranking up and down and back and forth. And it is lighted so that if you're setting up in the dark, no smashed fingers. Let's walk back around here. Got some great clear glass windows on the Salem Cruise Light. They're going to help bring in the outside into your trailer, again, rain or shine. Let's go in and take a look at some other things. First of all, I'm gonna show you too, this solid step, this is so popular, no wiggle. I mean, it really is a great stable way to get in and out of your trailer. As we step inside, I mentioned the bunks. Well, there's mom and dad's bed. Here's a great little sofa, joins the dinette, so you get a great living space conducive to conversation, but hey, this is one of the cool things. Your bunks are double over double, which means they're going to accommodate growing kids as well as adults. This is a fabulous trailer. You will even have additional sleeping on your dinette. You drop that tabletop down to the bottom and your sofa is what's known as a jackknife sofa. You've probably read about this or seen this. Here's what a jackknife sofa does. Folds flat, Presto, now you've got a bed. Well, let's get a little bit more rugged. We're going to go across the aisle and take a look at my Work and Play 29WKS Travel Trailer Toy Hauler. Okay, so here we go. Take a look at my Travel Trailer Toy Hauler. Say that three times fast. So we've got this great ramp. And you can see I'm not having any problems walking up this ramp. But here's one of the cool things about this. You can leave that ramp down even when you're camping. Check this out. It's a screen wall. That's going to double the indoor-outdoor use for your trailer. Now suddenly we have a great three-season or screened-in room to use in addition to being inside the trailer. If it's not raining too hard, you're also going to be able to stay in there when it rains. So one of the things that makes a toy hauler so appealing and so versatile is the fact that you have so much extra sleeping in it. You're going to have sleeping on both of these sofas. They're going to fold flat. And then this is what's known as a happy jack. That's probably the, uh, the, the, the trade name. But what this is is essentially a full bed that's going to come down. And now you're going to have sleeping for a couple. So if you have some friends who are going to bring their kids, now we have sleeping for an entire other family. This little sofa we'll use will work as a bed as well. 
and we've got some great comfortable recliners right here and these are movable so you can move these around your toy hauler however you want to put a mat outside you'll be able to actually use them outside under that great big awning and there's one more thing I wanted to show you too about the inside of our work and play uh, 29 WKS besides the fact you have great kitchen with lots of counter space we do have a separate bedroom great place for those who really aren't into the party at that particular moment to come on in close the door you can get a little bit of peace and quiet and separation from the rest of the family the rest of the activities going on outside and of course we do have a great bathroom it's going to be a pass-through bathroom whoa tony where'd you go there he is it's a great pass-through bathroom so there's access both from the living space as well as from the bat from the bedroom so for your guests they're not going to be coming through your bedroom to get to the bathroom in the middle of the night now let's step outside i want to show you a couple of other features so once again we're on lippert's solid step and that is a trade name now you'll see other manufacturers that have adopted um, similar steps to this but this is just this is the uh this is the one that you'll see on most travel trailers it's got a nice big deep top tread and then solid aluminum steps on the way down just a great way again to get in and out of a trailer much less chance of slipping and falling got some good treads and a little bit of that uh, sandpaper stuff there so it's really grips let's walk around to the other side of the trailer I'm going to show you what's really cool about a toy hauler and after all the reason you get a toy hauler most of the time is because you've got stuff to take with you that you want to play with well, unlike a lot of travel trailer toy haulers, this one has a fuel cell so that you're not taking along all of the gasoline and uh, for your, your fun stuff uh, in smelling cans. This is where it is, or this is where it's supposed to go, and this is where it's safe. Outside of this unit is going to be gel coat fiberglass with some really cool graphics. It's just a great classy looking travel trailer that can not only be your toy hauler, but it's also a great camper as well. Now let's get a little more residential and go over to see my Chaparral 27 RKS. It's going to be a fifth wheel. So here we are on the Coachman Chaparral 27 RKS. And as is usually the case, some of the best stuff in a recreational vehicle uh, is the stuff that you can't see the construction, the things on the inside. And one of Coachman's great stories is the interior wall backer that they use. It's a plastic composite called Asdel. It's half as light as wood, insulates better, is impervious to mold and mildew and rot, and has no formaldehyde. And the best part about it is, it'll never bubble up your fiberglass. It's gonna stay attached to that fiberglass for as long as you own your trailer. So we've got some great outside speakers here and an attachment for your television. Of course, one of the great things about a fifth wheel is the outside storage, and this is insane. You've got a ton of room to put stuff in there. We're on that solid step, once again, that I love so well. Coachman's gone ahead and put aluminum wheels on your tandem axles, and those do more than just look pretty. They're going to do a better job of, dis of um, dissem disseminating or getting rid of the heat. Let's go on inside and take a look at some other stuff. This is such a sensible floor plan for a couple, a small family, or even a mobile professional. I've talked to a lot of customers who have to do a lot of traveling for their job or who have chosen to travel because of COVID-19 and are enjoying uh, being out and about, but don't necessarily want to stay in a hotel room or even a long-term apartment situation. So what we've got here is we've got a nice big kitchen situated in the back and when we do that we pick up some great storage space big cabinets here nice big pantry right here plenty deep but it goes back into there no tiny little rv sink here regular divided stainless steel sink with a pull down faucet decent size refrigerator residential size microwave that's actually going to make real food not just uh, warming up a cup of hot chocolate. Triple burner cooktop and a nice little RV stove. And I love this. Coachman is so clever about their storage. Now you have a dedicated spot for your trash can. Gets it out of the way. Now, I love this too. Uh, theater seats, something we used to never see in, in basic travel trailers or in fifth wheels unless we got into a luxury manufacturer. We have heated massage theater seat recliners. These are so comfortable. I can't show you how comfortable they are. 
you're going to have to come and experience him there for yourself. Tony, I'm going to ask you to flip around. Tony's my videographer. I want to show you. We mentioned, uh, we mentioned those mobile professionals. Coachman's even given you a desk with USB chargers and a 110 outlet. Plenty of drawers for your stuff. Another 110 outlet here. I had a gentleman customer the other day who does quilting. Great little spot for his sewing machine with plenty of natural light. Of course, we're going to step back in here real quick. I'm just going to show you typical fifth wheel bedroom. We're going to step up here. Wow, look at this nice big shower. Again, a real size shower that we can put real human grown-ups into. Nice big walk around bed in your, in your bedroom. Sliding closet space that is roughed in for a single unit washer dryer. So again, something you could uh, actually stay in for quite some time with still plenty of room with his and hers, hers and hers, or his and his, or all yours closets. Nice little chest of drawers. And we've got windows on both sides of the slide out. That is a lot to show you in the showroom and I haven't even scratched the surface. There are plenty of other units, so I'm going to kick it back to you, Kurt. Take it away. Thanks, Susan. Just a reminder, we have hundreds of RVs on order with new travel trailers, fifth wheels, and motorhomes arriving daily. So make sure you're checking our inventory at MountComfortRV.com. You know it's Indy 500 time and we're proud to support some of the world's fastest drivers competing in the 104th Indianapolis 500 with courtesy motorhomes. Each of our drivers has given us a little tour of their coach. You can view these videos by going to the description section in this video. Now, back to our showroom where Susan walks around a Class C Freelander and a Class A Pursuit, both from our friends at Coachman. Thanks, Kurt. I'm back on our air-conditioned showroom floor to show you a little bit more about some of the units that we have. And I'm going to start with our Coachman Pursuit 27 DS. DS standing for double slide. It's a great short unit. It's under 29 feet long, but it's going to feel so roomy inside. Now our 2021s are going to come on Ford's new V8 engine. This is the one you've been hearing about. This is the one that you've been reading about and researching. Ford's telling us that it's going to make its power at a lower RPM speed, and so we ought to be saving a little bit of gas mileage. That's not so bad. But you'll be keeping your hefty 8,000 pound tow rating. That's the best in class for any small gas A unit. Of course, Coachman's got these beautiful gel coat fiberglass uh, finish here. So it's going to look nice for a long, long time. And stepping over here with my good buddy, Alan Blosser, who was stalking me. <laughs> Stepping over here, with, with, I can show you our really awesome deep awning. Um, we get some great uh, graphics here on the awning that just make it a little bit more fun, a little bit more whimsical. Get this great LED light strip that's going to give you light all the way down your coach. Of course, this is tailgate ready, or maybe this is how we're all going to watch everything for a while, is on the outdoor television. It's great for a movie night outside in your coach or outside your coach. Of course. One of the reasons that we like a Class A is all of the storage. That's just one compartment, folks. Some smaller units, that'll be all you have, not in a Coachman Class A. Step around a little bit more. Your fuel center, I like this. It's really not quite centered on the back, but it is on the back. So that if you forget which side the, the fuel station is, you can cheat a little bit because there's your fuel. Shore power, Whew. storage. There's your generator, it's fooled me. Already equipped with a 4,000 watt generator. And that's significant because it's great for boondocking. One of the other things about this Coachman uh, 27DS is that it's gonna have a 50 gallon fresh water tank. And that's great for taking you off the grid. Here's our water station, very convenient. Up and out of the way, nothing hanging out there. And more and more, more and more storage. I'm not going to try to crawl under the slide today, but know that you've got plenty more storage in there. Now we're going to skip around. We're going to go inside. I'm going to show you some other things. We're about to step in the Coachman 27 Pursuit 
double slide model. But I wanted to talk to you a little bit about these signs that you may have seen on some of the units that we're featuring today. One of the reasons that we've got some things to show you is we've got some things on the floor that we wanted you to be able to smell and touch and see. And so one of the things that we've done is this gal's going to be here for a while for you so that you can look at her. We're saying that she's spoken for, but know that we can get you on the very next one coming in. And they are coming in just about every day now. The factories in Elkhart and elsewhere are back up and they're cranking out recreational vehicles almost as fast as we can sell them. Let's go on inside. So here we are on the inside of our Coachman Pursuit 27 double slide unit. And first thing you ought to notice is how airy and how roomy this feels. The LED lights, of course, make this really bright. But know that if we were outside, not in my beautiful air-conditioned showroom, that if we were outside, you'd have plenty of natural light, both from this great big window here, and Coachman is still using that, that nice tinted glass. It's going to keep it a little bit cooler in the sunshine. Um, we did not sacrifice the windows on our television side here. We still have usable windows over our dinette, so it's great when you're having breakfast or dinner to kind of gaze out. Hopefully you have some great scenery and not just the unit right next door to you. Your seats are both going to swivel around and they're going to become part of the living space. One of the, uh, one of the coolest things about this though is the extra sleeping. This is a manual drop down bunk and it's super easy to operate. In fact, I can do this for you really quickly. There are a couple of releases here and right, oh, if I can remember, <laughs> right here, this is going to pull down and then we're going to pull this part toward us and down. And now we have a nice big twin bed for somebody to use. And this is rated to about, I want to say 200 and 250 pounds. So um, you could definitely get uh, a, a large child um, or a smaller adult up there. But one of the nice features about this is, is there is no motor. Some people do like the motorized, but there is no motor. So it's, it's there when you need it and there when you don't. It also provides great storage. If you take that mattress out, you get a little bit of room here to put valuables and things that you don't want anyone to know you have. All right, I'm going to pop that right back up again. Super easy to get it right back up. And it's up and out of the way. You have additional sleeping on your sofa. And of course, your dinette makes into a bed. Now we're going to walk, past, walk through this huge area here, your kitchen galley area, into the bedroom. We're on a king bed back here. One of the things I like about some of the newer RVs, you've got a bigger bed than I have at home. Coachman's also going to have a special spot to keep your CPAP machine. And I'm going to be a little ungraceful here and crawl across the bed to show you. Your CPAP machine will reside here. You have a 110 outlet. And then there is a spot here where your lines come through. So when you're done, everything is up and out of the way. Coachman's also given you a television here in the bedroom in addition to the television in your dining, dining room. So this is for mom and dad here. We have a nice big window in the back, inside to out. You do have some great privacy option for your master bedroom. This is gonna slide back, it's a pocket door. So now you see me? And now you don't. Open the door and we have a roomy bathroom again with a large step-in shower that will accommodate an adult. Plenty of storage here. This is your hanging storage in a lighted cabinet. Drawers underneath and more cabinet storage. And some people use this as a linen closet, some people use it as a pantry. It's great storage regardless. Folks, that is our Coachman Pursuit 27DS. Now let's step into something that you might not think of as larger, but it is. It's gonna be my Freelander 30BH. So now here we are outside the Freelander 30BH. And if there's one thing I can ask you to do, that is not cross it off your list just because it has a BH in the model number. Yes, it's got bunks, but wait till I show you how much functionality those bunks are going to give you. Let's go on inside. 
course, one of the main features of a Class C is your cab over sleeping. It's pretty beefy. It's going to hold up to 350 pounds. So, large adult, couple of kids, plenty of room up there. Sleeping on the dinette, of course. Sleeping on the sofa, of course. But as we step back here to this bunk configuration, like I said, don't cross it off your list. What we've actually got here is a small table and chairs set up. Great for a workstation, great for a craft station. There's storage underneath both seats. Table drops down, cushions fill in, and it becomes a bed. And then your top bunk is actually a Murphy bunk, if I can get her undone here. And voila, top bunk. Bunk beds. Bunk beds, anything with bunk beds has been super popular uh, this season as new families get into camping and families take um, extended families ta uh, camping. Um, of course, your bottom uh, and top bunks are going to be plenty beefy. Your bathroom's right here, so everybody has access to it without stepping into your bedroom. And again, you still have a decent sized shower, plenty of room in there. Definitely not just a closet. Once again, once we get back into the bedroom, going to have Coachman's CPAP station. This time it's going to be located up here in the cabinet on this side. Right here is where the lines will drop down. Right there. Hanging storage. Everything on an RV I tell people is sticky. You don't want those doors to be flying open as you're going down the road. Great thing is you're going to have an honest-to-goodness nightstand with USB port chargers here. Here's a coaxial cable input and a TV backer could go right here. Drawers here, more storage here, and a cabinet underneath for additional storage. But you can truly walk around and I love units. Nice big window in the back. Of course, this is uh, another egress point for you. This is an emergency exit. So know that um, RV manufacturers, especially those with the RVIA seal, are giving you additional assurance that they're thinking about your safety as well as your pleasure when you're out there camping. So one more feature to show you about this bedroom. Again, I mentioned privacy. All you're going to do is pull this. And then we have another pocket door. It's going to slide shut. And now mom and dad have some privacy. Let's step outside. I'm going to show you a few more things about the Freelander. Your chassis is Ford's E450. Ford is now pretty much the sole player in the RV chassis market or engine market. Chevy's gotten out. Um, you will see some Dodge Ram. You will see some other manufacturers. But Ford, by far, definitely the dominant manufacturer. The Freelanders have gone to an all white and black paint scheme so that your cab matches your coach. Have a nice unified look. Got this nice curl under here. We don't have a seam right here at the end. Your seam is back in here. Of course, if you want to uh, visit our new owner seminar at some point, we would uh, be talking to you about main surely maintaining your seals. One of the great things we're seeing too on, on modern RVs are these little gutter systems. Folks, those really do work. As we step down this side, get our slide out. And we have a slide out topper. Well, people say, well, that's nice. Why do I care? Well, you care because of this reason. When it comes time to pop that slide out room back in, if you've been camping under trees, you're probably going to have leaves and twigs and some other debris. You don't want that getting stuck in your, in your RV seals. So the slide out toppers do a great job of keeping some of that debris off the top of the sli slide out so that you don't have to dust everything all off every time you break camp. The other thing they do is they do provide you a little additional protection from the rain and maybe save you from some water intrusion that you might have had if you forgot to do your seals. Short power on this side, of course, like everyone, like all RVs on the non-patio side, and your Coachman Freelander will be equipped with a generator on board, again, so you can do some great boondocking. We've seen a lot of units, and believe it or not, we didn't even talk about my fold downs or my diesel pusher or any of the other great things that we have here in the showroom. I hope you'll join us here at Mount Comfort RV so that you can see 
feel, touch, smell, not taste. Um, our beautiful units know that we've got plenty of things that you can shop on. I'm Susan Stills here at Mount Comfort RV. Back to you, Kurt. Thanks, Susan. Nice job. And remember, there's lots of new RVs arriving daily at our lot, so refer to our website often as our inventory changes frequently. And you know you can always call us at 800-899-6676. That's our show for today. Remember, please be kind to one another and share the show if you care. See you next time here on America's favorite RV shopping show, Mount Comfort RV Online. <laughs>